Hello everyone. We've lost another great. George Martin, Sir George Martin, has passed away at the age of 90. And I woke up this morning, went on the computer and got the ultimate news, the sad news. Um, we've lost a, a great, uh, somebody who was very instrumental, to put it succinctly in uh, the Beatles' success. I've always viewed George Martin as the fifth Beatle, the true fifth Beatle. There's so many uh, sayings out there, uh, who's the fifth Beatle? Was it Pete Best? You know, was it Stuart Sutcliffe? Was it Murray the K? Um, was it Billy Preston? On and on the list goes. For me, always was and always will be George Martin. I don't believe uh, there would be any Beatles really without George Martin and uh, so many songs have his expert touch on them. You, you know, it goes on and on. The strings that were on yesterday, uh, the piano on so many songs like uh, In My Life, for example, uh, the way he edited Strawberry Fields Forever to get together to get the uh, record that we all know and love for so many years now and uh, so much more. Um, what he did with the, the carnival sounds for being for the benefit of Mr. Kite with the tape loops and throwing them in the air and randomly and then putting them back together to make the swirling sound of the carnival atmosphere. Um, it's funny, you know, I always say to people, um, when it comes to somebody dying, and this is just my own philosophy, my own way of thinking on things. But when it comes to someone dying who is of an elderly age and has lived a long life and a relatively, as, I, as far as I understand from Sir George Martin, healthy life, I, I, I always look at it more peacefully and I accept it better. I mean, all of us here should be able to say that we've done as well, that we've lived as long. To live to 90, to make it to 90, and relatively in, in good health all, all those years for the most part. You can't ask for more in this world. So uh, when I say that I'm sad, I am sad in the sense of nobody wants to think that somebody that we've grown up with, somebody that's part of our life, somebody that's part of our world, uh, has now departed. And um, we don't have them around anymore. We always think of so many of these people as being part of our actual world of everyday life that when they're not there anymore that's what's truly sad but i don't think the death in itself uh, of, of a person that's lived such a long life I, I personally am much more uh upset when somebody dies at a very young age or tragically or something is taken away from them i always feel once you hit the age of 80 everything else is gravy that's the way I look at it. If you made it to at least 80, once you hit 80, the clock is running. So, um, I, I don't want to be totally morbid about this. I want to have some kind of joy. I want to celebrate the life of George Martin. Um, I showed the first album that I have here, which is perfect for this occasion. Uh, I have a few George Martin albums in memory. It's a good time to show them. There's another one. Um, I have a couple more, although there is one that I don't have. I always like this this picture there. Uh, if we can get a good look at that, there's still not much light here yet this morning. The Beatles with their master George Martin. Uh, I don't have the album uh, George Martin instrumentally salutes the Beatle girls used to have that in my original collection that's a good album I'm looking looking for well there's not much I can say here that really uh, is going to be anything uh, profound uh, on my part just wanted to acknowledge this and maybe tell the news to some people who watch my channel that may not have heard it yet and that they, they get the heads up through me um 
Rest in peace, Sir George. Thanks for everything.